psychiatric disorders account for about 20% of the National Health Service budget. Do you know that? 20%. Do you know what a fraction cancer contributes to? 7%. The big cost in the health service is psychiatric disorders. So, and things like uh, schizophrenia, although you may dismiss them as not being very uh, prevalent, they are a huge thing. If an 18-year-old become, becomes schizophrenic, that person is a sociological burden for the rest of society, as opposed to some old person with cancer. So we're looking at large sociological impacts of understanding diseases which are not well understood. They clearly have got chemical problems in the brains of schizophrenia because drugs do work. But we know that some people recover after one episode. Some people are in the bin for the rest of their life. And what's, what's, what's the classification? How do we know when an 18-year-old has become hearing voices, what's happening in their brain? So the, the vision would be if we could have tools which say that particular chemistry has gone wrong, let's tailor for those, those people at the therapy because they are of that cut. We know schizophrenia, we know dementias are a big bucket they chuck everything into, and yet there's a spectrum of conditions. Some which will respond, but you're treating them all as one big category at the moment. So if we could get to the phase of a selective imaging technique, because there's no other way, I don't think, because you've got to see what's happening in the hearing voices, these people, or whatever they're hearing. There's something going on in the brain. If you could say it's an X subtype receptor as overexpressed, you could then tailor your drug accordingly. Now, that's a bit of a hope looking forward, but these are big sociological problems. Um, the whole issue of ageing, why do people get older than others? What's the microglia doing there? I mean, what, how is the brain breaking down if we have, can we, if we have tools to look at this age process, like microglia activation, we may have ways of beginning to titrate our cognitive therapies or whatever you're going to introduce. Mm -hmm.